Okay, what's good guys? Welcome to Team QVD and these are the five facts that you need to know about the Apple event that just happened. So the fact number one is that Apple started the event by talking after the San Bernardino case, which if you haven't heard of, it's linked down below. But basically Apple talked about how encryption matters in your life and how your personal data can be accessed by the government if there's a backdoor left open for just one case. So fact number two is that Apple talked about what they're doing for the environment. Now this may seem boring to you, but it's actually pretty important that a company of this size is doing something towards the environment. So they have been throwing in some facts like they do always. So that 93% of their offices across the world are now running on renewable resources. 99% of their uh, packaging for everything, MacBooks, iPhones, and everything else is now made from recycled paper. And also they have been protecting 32 acres of land in North Carolina, which is comparatively bigger than other companies, which is a good step for you, Apple. So you can introduce a new machine called Liam and Liam is basically a machine which can disintegrate your iPhone into its various components, into its motherboard, the screen, the uh, processing units differently so that every single component can have its own personal reuse so that a screw, the metal screw can be used to make something that is out of metal instead of making the entire thing into an aluminum ball which can probably not be used for various purposes. So fact number three is that Tim Cook talked about what are the updates to the Apple Watch. Now they have a few new bands and of course the the biggest one is that uh, the price of the Apple Watch is now dropped by $50, which is a big improvement considering the smartwatch competition right now. So fact number four is what you have come to watch this video for, that's the iPhone SE. Not something else, but special edition. Now it looks very similar because it's the exact same body construction from the older iPhones, the iPhone 5, 5S but now has the exact same internals as the top of the line iPhone 6s. So that means about twice as much performance in CPU and thrice as much performance in graphics processing unit, which is a big, big, big improvement considering it just starts at $399 for the 16 gigabyte model. But hold on, 16 gigabytes with 4K video recording and live photos. What are you going up to Apple? I don't really get it. You'll anyway have to get the 64 gigabytes, which would start at 499. So the basic proper to use iPhone SE will start you at 499 and not 399. So fact number five is one of the biggest improvements and updates, and that is to the iPad lineup. Now there's a new iPad Pro. Now if you've been wondering why did I say an iPad Pro, because Apple refused to rename it anything other than an iPad Pro, which is kind of awkward saying that uh, there's an already an iPad Pro with 12.9 inches. Now they can rename this as iPad Pro Mini but that wouldn't make sense because it's already a 9.7 inch iPad. But apart from the naming, uh, everything inside this iPad is kind of too good. It has the uh, Apple A9X chip, which is the best chip that they have made till date for mobile processing. So it has a new feature called True Tone Display, which will change the color, the temperature of your screen based on where you're at. So if you're in a place where there's incandescent light, there'll be a warmer color. And if you're in a place where, is, where there is enough bluish light, your screen will change into a blue color so that your eyes do not have to strain enough. So it also has Hey Siri uh, support, so you can uh, you can ask your iPad saying, Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? And it will give you an answer, you can just talk to your phone. But also the iPad now starts at 32 gigabytes, so Apple, you've come back into your senses. And it continues to 256 gigabytes. You heard me right, 256 gigabytes. It's a full-fledged PC in the palm of your hands. So that's been it. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, there were a few more updates like iOS 9.3 and Apple TV, which were not that crucial for me to explain it in top five. And of course, if you do want to listen to them again, there's a link down below. So that's been it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. And also toss me a subscribe on the red color subscribe button down below. And uh, if you guys want to follow me anywhere, I'll have the snap ghost anywhere there and all my f social media links are down in the description. So feast your eyes with that and thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. The Apple Watch. Now, Apple Watch has a few new bands, which again, you can check the link down in, uh, check the link down down in the description. It's very interesting.